Hello YouTube, I'm at View Productions, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get max performance with just regular old Minecraft. Now Minecraft can run either super well or run really horribly depending on your machine and depending on several factors, but there are a lot of things that you can change in this game to make it run a whole lot better. You know, if you just boot Minecraft up and it's running horribly, don't think that all hope is lost because it certainly isn't. Uh, when I started making videos on YouTube, I was using this really really slow old laptop and I was able to actually uh, gain quite a lot of performance just by changing the in-game settings out of that laptop and when I say this laptop was slow I mean it was very very slow so uh, yeah you guys that are watching on a slower computer really don't worry you can make this game run well on older computers now obviously I'm recording this video on a faster computer but that does not mean that these uh, things do not work basically what I'm going to do in this video is go through all of the options and explain each and every one and how it affects performance and how you can change it to affect performance so without further ado let's get into the minecraft options now if i hit pause on the game right here by hitting escape as you can see we're brought up with all these options if you go down to the options menu and then go into video settings we can pretty much get all of these different settings here that affect performance in different ways we're gonna go from top to bottom here in the options first we'll talk about full screen resolution now as you can see if I start changing the slider we can see these numbers change essentially what these are are the different resolutions that you can play the game at and uh, obviously the lower the resolution the less pixels the game has to generate the better that the game will run obviously if you're playing at full resolution you're maxing out that amount of pixels and that actually does create some lag for the game of course it makes it look a little bit better but you can really honestly if you're playing on a laptop or something you're not going to be hindered too much by lowering your resolution down to something maybe like uh, 1280 by 720 this is honestly what I would recommend for most people if they are having lag issues in Minecraft. So honestly, what I recommend you guys to do is go in, change a setting, then go back and play the game for a little bit, see how it affects the performance, and then go back. Make a decision, because if it doesn't help performance, there is no need to change it. And of course, uh, once you change the full screen resolution, you want to go down here and click full screen. Now, I'm not going to do this, because if I go into full screen mode, I can't record my screen and show you guys how to do all this stuff. So, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I cannot do that moving down to biome blend right here This is essentially, uh, you know when there's different colors of grass in Minecraft how they uh, sort of blend into each other Of course if you go all the way down to off which is the fastest uh, That will be the best performance now if you don't really care about something like this It's good to turn it off. It does affect performance not by a whole lot just by a little bit um, but it definitely can help to turn it all the way off now going to uh, graphics down here as you can see we have three different options fabulous fast and fancy now honestly if you don't care about the way the game is necessarily looking and you just want to build stuff and have fun definitely play with fast graphics but if the fast graphics really annoy you and, and you think with your setup you can live with the little bit amount of lag that they cause you can change your graphics to fancy and uh, that will give it but fabulous is obviously for machines that aren't really too concerned with lag I recommend fast if you're having lag issues that's what I used to play on smooth lighting obviously you can turn it all the way off this one really affects the way that the game looks if you can live with smooth lighting off uh, go for it but uh, honestly minimum is probably gonna be the best option for most people that are having issues with lag it doesn't affect performance all that much I mean honestly the biggest difference is in between uh, smooth lighting off and smooth lighting minimum minimum versus maximum really isn't a huge difference at all but you can barely tell the difference between them anyways so I usually plan minimum anyways but uh, honestly, if you're really struggling to uh, get high frame rates in Minecraft or get to the frame rates that you want, I recommend just turning smooth lighting off altogether. Now, V-Sync is really going to only affect graphics if you're getting like above 60 FPS, then you start getting screen tearing, which is a whole thing that I'm not going to explain right now. But uh, if, if you're below 60 FPS, just leave V-Sync off altogether. Now moving down to GUI scale, this setting does not change performance, leave it on whatever you want to leave it on. Brightness also does not change performance at all, you know, change it to whatever you want. Full screen we already talked earlier about. Mint map levels don't affect performance a whole lot, but if you're playing at anywhere from, you know, 8 chunks up render distance, I recommend leaving mint map levels all the way maxed 
at uh, 4. Distortion effects and FOV effects do not affect performance a whole lot, but they certainly can. You know, if you're using a lot of distortion effects and you're getting lag, go ahead, turn them right off. FOV effects are going to be something that happens more often in the game, so if you're uh, really, really pushing for lag, I recommend turning this one off. Going up to the other side, a render distance setting. This is probably the setting you will change most in Minecraft. In my personal opinion, it affects Minecraft uh, in the way it looks the most. I like playing on high render distances. If you don't really care for high render distance at all, please change the setting. This is going to affect performance the most out of any other setting in this game is, you know, obviously how many chunks are being generated. Basically what I do is I, I change all my settings before and then I see how high I can get uh, my chunks with the frame rate being, you know, where I want it to be. So uh, that's, that's sort of what I do is I change a setting and then see if how high I can get the uh, chunks up on, you know, an older machine, let's say like a laptop. I was able to uh, turn pretty much every other setting off and leave my uh, render distance at I think it was six chunks and still play regular survival normally and that was a really slow computer so you guys could at least get to there I, I think on most uh, laptops these days. As a good middle ground I'll just leave it at six for now on most lower end machines. Max frame rate, this is going to not necessarily improve the uh, amount of frames that you get per second in the game, but it could make things a lot smoother. Let's say you are hitting an average of 40 to 45 FPS in the game, and uh, it was just really a, a jarring experience with the frame rate going up and down all the time, and you wanted to have a more of a smoother experience, you could turn the frame rate all the way down to uh, 30 FPS and it would be just locked at 30 all the time. So a really, really smooth experience, but not necessarily a higher frame rate. So if you're uh, having trouble with hitting smooth frame rates, this is something, you know, I'd recommend changing. All right, smooth bobbing on. Now this one does not really affect performance at all, but it can make the game feel a little bit smoother uh, if you turn it off. So let's say that you're having, you know, crazy lag issues and you're only able to play the game at 25 FPS or something like that. You could turn view bobbing off and uh, your arm wouldn't move up and down, so the game would feel a little bit smoother to play at those low frame rates. Attack indicator does not matter where you put it, although turning it off uh, in theory would give you a little bit more performance, although the performance that it would give you is probably negligible. Clouds, obviously this will affect your performance. Having them on fancy will give you the worst performance. Having them on fast for a slower machine is probably the best you will get. Um, the difference between fast and off is there's pretty much no performance difference. It's a negligible amount of performance difference. So if you're really having trouble with frame rates and you still want clouds, put them on fast. That's what I used to do. Particles, of course, um, this affects your frame rate a, a pretty decent amount. You're going to want to turn your particles all the way to minimal if you are having lag issues in Minecraft. You know, they, they don't make a whole much of a difference in, in your game, so you're going to want to turn them to minimal if you're having issues. Entity shadows, they don't affect performance all that much, but again, if you're really struggling for performance, you can turn entity shadows off. And of course, entity difference, this one's huge. Turn it all the way down to 50% if you are having problems. All right, I'm gonna set my frame rate to unlimited and see what I get for frame rates. Of course, this computer is uh, much faster than you know a lot of the laptops and stuff that you guys are probably running on. But as you guys can see, uh, just right here in the game, I'm getting 370, 380 frames per second. So imagine what you guys would get on your laptop there. And I would consider this uh, very much playable for a lot of you inside of your world. Uh, you, let's say you were getting 30 FPS, something like that. You know, you can still see clouds, you can still see fog in the distance, and you can still see plenty of trees and stuff to build. If you just want to play Minecraft and have fun on a lower end computer, this is uh, the way to go with, with settings like this. Again, experiment with the settings your own though, of course, I really recommend that because every single setting is different and see how much performance you can etch out through your system. I also have one more recommendation and that is downloading and installing Optifine. That always helps a huge amount uh, with frame rates and I have a whole video on that that will be linked down in the description below. And of course, this video is just uh, how to do stuff without Optifine. So, so this was the best settings uh, and all these settings explained for Minecraft Java Edition. If you guys liked the video and it helped you out, please make sure to leave a comment and a like. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing success stories saying, oh, you helped me with lag. You helped me with this. You helped me with that. So, you know, uh, those are always awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Evie Productions, and I will see you guys in the next video.
goodbye.